Welcome everyone to Dwyer Arena again. I'm Nick Woden with a fresh new haircut, new shirt. Um, now that I just, just get boasted of my confidence, Coach, thank you for joining me. Coach Dave Burkholder from the Nine University Purple Eagles men's hockey team. And Coach, let's talk some Air Force, some our first military action, I guess if you will. Air Force last weekend, Army this weekend. You guys had a 3-1 loss. 3-0 loss out in Colorado Springs. Um, so tell me about that weekend, Coach. Uh, you're a little far away for me to watch, uh, yeah. personally. So uh, take it away, Coach. What happened? That yeah. Weekend? You know, Friday night was was uh, we looked like a tired team, and, and I, you know, I got to be honest. That's a really tough trip to go out there. It was a, a 16 hour travel day. And then there's a you know a time time zone change. You know, your body clock's a little off, and then playing at the altitude. We just had a young team that wasn't, uh, I don't think was was ready for it on Friday. Now add to that a very fast, competitive Air Force team that was a problem on Friday. Uh, Friday night, Jackson Tycro was first star of the game, gave us a chance, you know, it was two nothing. It was one nothing for the longest time. Um, gave us a chance, uh, you know, seven minutes to go, it's one nothing. So they scored an empty netter. Saturday was a really good effort for us. I thought uh, we competed really hard and again, it's 1-1 with seven minutes to go, and it looks like we were going to score the game winner at one end, and we blinked, and they scored on the rush. So that was a devastating loss, but I thought we competed pretty good. Yeah, and Coach, now going even back to the Canisius weekend, you guys scored three goals in a game. Unfortunately, the defense wasn't there to back it up. Last weekend, you just mentioned that uh, Jackson Tyke Road again played great. It's, it's almost becoming the story of the second half that he's He's playing great, but uh, the offense isn't there. So basically, what I'm getting at, Coach, is the complete game isn't there for you guys right now. How, how frustrating is that as a team and as a coaching staff that you guys are doing certain things good, but just the whole thing's not coming together in one 60-minute game? It's very frustrating, and, and obviously the team is feeling it, and uh, you know, we've talked about squeezing our sticks and and, uh, and and things like that. But you know what? Uh, we're a good team, but you know, good isn't good enough. It's, it's not going to win hockey games. To go from good to great, you have to make plays. And unfortunately, at this point in our season, we're just not making enough plays. We're not finishing off. You know, you work hard, you work hard, you get it down in their zone, and we're not making plays and finishing off uh, and scoring. So we're going to, you know, once once we, uh, you know, click offensively here, look out. I think we're a really good team. Coach, like I said earlier, uh, second half of a couple uh, military-esque weekends. We have uh, Army West Point going to be here this weekend. Uh, two games uh, here at Toy Arena, 7 p.m. face off for both games. Uh, Army is 5-6, 5, six, five Excuse me, five, eleven, and six overall. Three, nine, and six in Atlantic Hockey. Um, this, what, uh, what type of team are we looking at, Coach? We're coming here, and hopefully, you guys can grab four points, four big points for you guys. You need really bad right now. Yeah, huge. Um, you know, at scouting their team, we we think they're as good or or, or better than Air Force. Uh, just scouting them, um, it's one of their better teams. Uh, you know, I, I think people would look at their record and our record and our teams and and, and maybe question the records. So. Um, very competitive, very fast. Um, they, they're going to provide a lot of problems. And again, you know, with the, with their uh, their spirit and energy, their first shift is, is exactly like their last shift of a hockey game. They're, they're in great shape and compete. So it's going to be a great weekend. It's going to be two physical teams. We pride ourselves on finishing our checks, and and they certainly are a tough group to play against.